YouTube, what is going on? It is that NBA guy, Josh. Today is May 3rd, 2016. I haven't made a video in a very long time, so I'm just coming back. I need to start making some more of these videos, and uh, you know, we're just going to get right into it. Right now, we're going to go over what happened last night between the San Antonio Spurs and the Oklahoma City Thunder. If you guys saw the end of the game, it was absolutely bananas. There was actually six or seven things that went wrong from the officiating standpoint in the last minute of the game. Now, obviously, the biggest one was Dion Waiters elbowing Manu Ginobili from out of bounds. Um, and, you know, the, everyone just went absolutely crazy. Chris Webber, who was announcing the game for TNT, was going nuts more than anyone else because you can't do that. You can't be inbounding the ball and just push off with your elbow on the person that's trying to defend from the opposing team. Now, Deion Waiter's elbowing was wrong and it should have been called as an offensive foul. But there was a lot of other things that went wrong. We're going to go over those right now. Number one, Manu Ginobili cannot be out of bounds. You cannot, you have to give the person at least three feet, right? So Deion Waiters can step back. He could step forward, but you have to give the man three feet, okay? Evidence is right there showing that Manny Ginobili's foot was out of bounds. Even if it was on the line, that's still out of bounds. So he was completely out of bounds, and that's why Deion Waiters reacted and pushed off with his elbow. Number two, <clears throat> there's video evidence of Kawhi Leonard holding Russell Westbrook's jersey as he's trying to run to the backcourt to catch the inbound. You can't hold someone's jersey, okay? Number three that went wrong. The clock started before Kevin Durant touched the ball. Deion Waiters inbounded the ball, lobbed it up right about half court, a little bit inside half court towards the, uh, towards the offensive basket. And the clock started. There was about 14 seconds left, maybe like 13-5 left. And you could see the clock start to move before he touches the ball. The clock does not start before someone touches the ball. That's general basketball knowledge 101 for anyone. And I'm sure all you guys watching this channel know this. So that happened. Also, Deion Waiters jumped to inbound the ball. You cannot leave your feet if you're inbounding the ball. You can move side to side if you're inbounding the ball from a made basket. But if you are inbounding the ball on the side, you cannot move side to side, and you certainly cannot jump. You have to inbound the ball. You can go up on your tippy toes, but those both feet cannot leave the ground. As you can see, there's a lot of things that went wrong here that should have been called. Also, um, I'm pretty sure LaMarcus Aldridge was held as he was going for the ball by Serge Ibaka on the, uh, you know, once, once the ball got down to the offensive basket. And he got, he got held or pushed by Ibaka. Um, crazy. The last one that's even more insane is Steven Adams ran out of bounds to, to, to save the ball. And I don't know if the young lady slipped and fell and was just holding onto his arm so she didn't fall even more. But you could see Steven Adams run out of bounds on the, on, the, on the strong side of the camera, so closest to the viewing camera. And... You see an arm like holding his arm and he rips his arm away. I don't know what kind of foul you would call on the Spurs because you can't hold their fans accountable. But what is that? Uh, you, you're trying to hold the guy out of bounds so he can't go and help his team secure the victory? If it was an accident, I apologize. But it didn't look like that much of an accident. She could have... I don't know. I don't know. It, a lot of stuff went wrong. The internet was blowing up last night. It's still blowing up today over the fact that how can the refs be right in front of the play? They're literally right on top of the play, especially the Deion Waiters inbound. The guy is right there. He's a mere feet, a couple feet, maybe three or four feet away, looking, directly looking right at the play. And he doesn't call the elbow. I mean, I think, you know... Manny Ginobili was wrong to come out of bounds, and that's why he reacted. So I think, in my honest opinion, that everything should have remained the same. They should have called a double technical foul on Waiters and then also on Ginobili. 
and then the Spurs, uh, the, I'm sorry, the Thunder should have inbounded the ball again. But there has to be, you know, the, the referees have to be calling these fouls. I mean, even the NBA came out this morning and said, we messed up. Now, that's great. We, we as fans, all appreciate you guys coming out and saying that you messed up. But since these playoffs have started, I can account for at least three times when the referees and the NBA has come forward and said, we messed up late in games. In the Houston Golden State series, James Harden, the one game that they won, and he pushed off with his elbow and then made that last second shot to give the, 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 um, the, uh, the Rockets their only win of that series. The NBA straight up said he pushed off. It should have been an offensive foul. That means that that game five that happened in that series should never have happened. Meaning that if someone from either team, hopefully not Golden State, got injured in game five, now the NBA just changed the course of history. Y you can't be doing that. And I understand that these refs are the best out of all sporting officials you know, in the major four sports. But still, there has to be... Uh, you know, you, you have to be able to review fouls. And right now, you can review three-pointers. You can review who the foul was on, this and that. Um, you know, three-pointers you can, uh, you know, obviously review and, and, and everything. But they should make a rule that you can review fouls because there's a lot of stuff going on that they don't catch right away. And we get that. They're human, just like you and I are human. But some of these fouls late in the games with two minutes left... You have to be able to review them because you're changing the course of history. What if what if San Antonio now loses this series in Game 7? And it should have never gone to a Game 7. San Antonio could have come back in that game and then won you know, two of the next five games, four games. I mean, you know, you, you, it can't happen. What do you guys think? Should Deion Waiters have been called for an offensive foul? Should there have been a double technical on Deion Waiters and Manny Ginobili? Drop it in the comments. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to my channel. I promise I'm going to be making a lot more videos. You know, I'm, uh, you know, in the middle of uh, launching a new business and it's taking up a lot of my time. And even when I'm done with it, all I want to do is sit on the couch and take a nap. So it's coming along. Um, you know, I need to start making some more videos. I agree. But thank you guys for watching. And, uh, you know, I appreciate all the support. Have a great day. This has been That NBA Guy Josh. And I'm out. Peace.